Check exercise 7.2, numbers elements. We can assume that the following array has been defined, though we don't necessarily know its length. So ints, we have our brackets here. Um, so it's a one dimensional array, super simple. We have the name of it, which is numbers, and it's equal to a new int where we don't know the size. It's not specified or given to us here. So we're asked what expression should be used for each of them. So which expression should be used to access the first element? Well, this is relatively simple. If we want to access the first element, we just use the name numbers, and then we get the zeroth index. So zeroth index gets the first element. To access the last name, assuming was created with length 10, well, if we want the last element, we know the length is 10. We can just do the same thing but instead we are going to have nine. So because um, length is the same thing as index, but length is one more than index because length starts at one, but index starts at zero. To access its last element, regardless of length, what do we do? Well, it's gonna be similar to this. We can have numbers. We don't know this length though. So what we're gonna have to rely on is getting the array length minus one. That's why I just said what I just said. So we'll do numbers, which is the array dot length. So we get that length and then we subtract one from it. So we can click submit and we've passed three out of three tests. That's how I would look at self-check 7.2 which with numbers elements.